Let's go deep today in some advanced manifestation practices that are going to resolve any of these recurring energy loops for you or what comes in as recurring challenges in your life. We're going to go through some deep principles that I just went live on our YouTube channel last week, but we're going to put into a recorded video here for you and allow yourself to sit down, take some good notes while you go through this to understand what energy loops are, how you can actually resolve these energy loops with a common one simple practice and what to do on a continual basis to clear up any resistances that come into your life. Stay tuned. All right, so thank you for letting me know that we're here live. You can hear me okay, you're ready to rock. Uh, I really want you to be here for the whole live. I'm gonna estimate about 15, 20 minutes. It really won't be a long time, but I want you to take some notes out as well. Grab a journal and a pen or something of that nature. Because what we're about to talk about today completely changed my life. Sounds very cliche, but it did. It's well past just modern manifestation, law of attraction strategy. We're gonna be talking about energetics. And the one-on-one -on -one mentoring clients I have now, or even our group coaching, we're covering this every Monday, and it's been life transformative. In fact, those of you that are in the school group that we just uh, created two days ago here, if you're not there, please join in, it's amazing. That group, once you get to level five, I unlock modules for you on these deep energetics. And three of you are already there, so congratulations. To those of you that are already leveling up to level five in two days is like unheard of. So that's quite amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it here. Let me know, just throw number one into the chat box if you're ready to go. Again, if you have some journal notes in front of you, you're prepared for today's live, and then we'll jump right over to the whiteboard. And there's gonna be a little delay sometimes in me seeing your comments, so bear with me while I kind of pause for like five seconds to make sure all those comments come through. So again, throw number one in the, the comment box there just so I can make sure you're ready to go, and we'll rock. Got my laptop on the side so I can see the, the comment box just a little better. Okay, starting to see the ones come through. Okay, fantastic. Let's start going through this. So what I want to ask you before I do a drawing is, do you have any recurring challenges coming up in your life that seem to be constantly there and you're really frustrated by it? So you've been trying to manifest something into your life. It could be an intention. A lot of times the resistance is around money. So it's like you've been trying to get to 10,000 a month, or you've been trying to get to 60,000 a month, or you've been trying to blank. And it's like you're constantly facing this recurring resistance coming into your life. There's challenges that are recurring that seem to never go away. There's themes in your life that are recurring that seem to never go away. It's like once you try and get the money, you're always striving, falling short of your goals, or it's like you, you want abundance, but every time you get money in, it's like you have a lot of money come in and then you have a lot of money go out, so you don't have that abundance. Let me know, throw number two in the chat box if you feel that way. Let me know. Let's cover why that happens and that why affirmations, visualization, is not enough to cure that. Very important, okay? So I'm gonna do my best to draw here. You're gonna see some of it blocked while I'm drawing but bear with me, I'll draw and I'll open up the camera so you can see, okay? So let's start here with a circle. So draw this out with me. I'll try and draw as big as I can uh, so that you can read everything as I'm going through, okay? But we got a circle here, okay? I want you to think about this circle as like a bubble you're in, a glass ceiling. It's a spot where you've been in for many months or many years. It's just, it feels like you're in a bubble and you can't get out. Does that make sense for everyone, that kind of scenario? And it seems like circumstances are pushing against you. Okay, so we're gonna draw a couple arrows on the outside here. Okay, you have these circumstances that seem to push against you. It's like as soon as you want money, there's like 20 bills that come up and takes all your money away. And you're like, how does this even make sense? Like, I don't understand. I feel like I'm in an abundant mindset. I feel like I'm on a higher frequency. But then as soon as I had a win of another thousand bucks coming in, I had bills that were actually totaling $1,200, right? And it seems like you're, the amount in your bank account is always about the same for some reason or something's just not working out there, right? So it's like circumstance after circumstance pops up. And this could be something that's a challenge 
Okay, and it's writing backwards because I have the front facing camera. That's going to be a challenge for today's live, but let's work with it. Okay, so right now, uh, writing backwards here, let me know if anybody knows a, a technical cure for that. But as I'm audibly saying this, let me know that you can understand as I'm writing this down, okay? Uh, many people are reading it normally. That's fantastic. Okay, on my screen is backwards. So let me know if you can read this normally, okay? It's facing correct, Angela says. Okay, perfect. That's fantastic. Okay, even better. Okay, so we got challenges here. This could be uncomfort. Uncomfortable situations coming into your life, okay? These could be triggers. Anybody else been triggered by their partner or spouse before? Of course you have, right? So that could be one of those things that come into your life here, okay? Another one of those things could be anything that's recurring around resistance. Okay, another one of those could be feeling stuck and so on. Many different frustrations that come with this and it feels like life is pushing against you. It feels like you're, you're being like, it feels unfair. It feels like the universe is like, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to do my thing, but the universe is pushing me in a certain direction. I don't get it. Like they're, you know, the, the universe is actually not helping me in what I want and it doesn't make sense, right? You feel stagnant. So in here, you want to write down your recurring theme. What is the recurring theme? Okay, and we're going to switch out some, some colors here to make it a little easier for you to see everything. What is your recurring theme? That's what you want to put in this circle. That's what that bubble is. Recurring theme, constant lack. No matter how hard I try, no matter how many goal cards I have, no, how, no matter how many affirmations I do, I cannot get there, right? The recurring theme is falling short and lack. Another recurring theme may be, no matter what I do, I'm the same amount of weight all the time. And then as soon as I release 20 pounds, I gain it right back. Just, it's just the standard for myself. I'm constantly there. Or every time I finally have $10,000 in my checking account, it's gone and I'm back to $2,000. And then I get $15,000, I'm back to $2,000, right? Recurring theme. Let me know, throw two to three words in the comment box your your biggest frustrating recurring theme and i'm going to work with you on some of these as we go through which would be nice interaction okay what recurring theme and make it short and sweet a couple of words there is it for you money in money out lackful like you you want abundance falling short from your goals just constantly being frustrated with life what does that look like okay we got money in money out we got constant lack it's a constant theme that we're, that we're helping our clients with. So that's why I'm talking about money, but it can be anything. Money in, money out, lack of money, lack of sustainable relationships, scared of failure or success, career choice, lack of finances, health money. Okay. I haven't had 10K or even 2K in the account in many, many moons. My career, constant lack, money in, money out, lack, money in, money out. Okay. So that's... See, it's a common theme for a lot of people that we want to do, right? Relationships is a big one, right? That's why the theme is like if you are in a relationship and then you, you get into another one, you see the theme chasing you. And it's almost always from childhood, right? So again, these are recurring themes for a reason. Let's talk about it. Here's the thing you don't want to do. So actually, let me get my red marker here. Red is going to symbolize don't do this, okay? But we do it all the time. As soon as the circumstance pushes against us, we push against it. And sometimes harder than other ones. And then as soon as something uncomfortable, we push against it. Triggers, we start blaming the other person for why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling or what's going on in my life, right? Resistance, we may really, really push against that one. And we feel in order to get farther in life, we have to push against the circumstances. You're not doing this literally, not physically pushing it. You're doing it with your mind by fighting it. So these red arrow, or arrows here are fighting against. 
How do you fight against something? You argue with it mentally or physically or both or spiritually, any of the planes. So when something's uncomfortable, I may calm myself out and justify, I don't need to do that. That's not, a, I don't, I, I don't, it's not even a part of my progress. I don't need to do that, right? If there's resistance coming into my life or there's triggers, I start being blamey. It's because of this, it's because of this and everything's on the outside, right? Being stuck, sometimes you're putting in way too much effort. You're working 16 hours a day trying to make something happen by pushing against and feeling exhausted, right? That's another one. Fighting against the challenges, saying and blocking yourself, it's not there, it's not there. So conning yourself out, right? So those are just a few of many ways that we fight against the things that are coming up in our life. Does that make sense for everyone? Throw number three into the comment box so I can check in a little bit if this is making sense so far. And if you haven't already, throw a like on the on the live here, because what it'll do is it'll spread out to more people in our algorithm on YouTube and it just more people will be able to see us, which will be great. Okay, so if you haven't already, please do throw a like if you're gaining any value from this. So these red arrows here, we're pushing against things and man, is it frustrating, it's irritating, it just, man, I just can't move, right? So what do we do about this and what's going on? If we keep pushing, extremely striving, goal oriented only. We'll get somewhere, but it's going to be small. We'll push this bubble out. So you'll probably actually see a result. Okay. So it's good to know that, yeah, you're going to push against it. It's going to be exhausting, but you probably will see a result. You'll see something small happen or for your partner, you may get an argument, you may win, but it actually doesn't solve the problem right? That would be an example. Or for money, you're in a spot where you really, really get it. Like you, you're putting out the mindset and you, you work and strive 16 hours a day. You got an extra $2,000 in. So you made progress, but it's small. It's incremental, right? And it pushes the bubble out. Two things can happen. The bubble can go back to square one, or the bubble can stay here. If you keep pushing against it. Okay. All right. A lot going on here. I'm going to take another step with you right now. Here's what's going on. Why do these challenges happen in the first place? Why? Souls. Evolution. Okay. Why? All of this is happening because your soul is trying to call you to evolve. So every single one of these blues, that's why I put them in blue. I didn't put them in red are here for a purpose. They are a gift to you. Very different mindset, right? Almost always we see these blue things and we're frustrated. We're angry, we're irritated, we hate it. We just want to finally get there. I just want to finally have the money. I just want to finally take the vacations. I just want to finally feel free. I just want to finally blank, fill in the blank. So all these blue things are here and it feels like I hate them. But what's really going on here is it's your soul's evolution and calling to grow in that area. As long as we keep pushing against these, again, we'll make a little progress, but you're going to be in this bubble and it's going to be hard. And it's not going to be feeling fun. Your soul's evolution is calling you to on each one of these things coming into your life, evolve out of it, understand it and change your identity of it. Let me do an example real quick. And then we're going to go into what to do about this. So I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to give you an exercise. You can apply it right here on the live. So give me two minutes to explain an example scenario. An example, you're a caregiver. Okay. Maybe you're not, but let's do an example. You're a caregiver. The resistance that comes into your life is you need to always save everybody. You seem like you're always rescuing everybody. You're always the one that has the conscious awareness. Everybody else seems victim. Everybody else seems like they, they it just doesn't, they don't actually own their stuff. Okay. There's one. And you start to get really frustrated by that. That's a resistance. Another thing, somebody keeps asking you for money to save their money problems. They're going through all these money things. We have lots of clients that are in these scenarios that are constantly, everybody's asking them for money all the time because 
they feel like they need to save everybody and they're constantly requesting. That would be another thing, triggering. I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to always save everybody. I don't always, like they can save themselves, right? But here's another trigger that's coming up and I start to hate it. And I start to want to just, you know, get really angry about it and things, right? These things are coming up. Most times I'm going to push against them and argue against them in a battle. But what the soul's being called to do is evolve out of the caregiver role into a different role. Maybe it's the anchor role. Maybe it is the aligned guide or sage role. And the role is going to, this is really important that you draw this out, is going to open the door of the bubble. And most times it's permanent. Not always, you could take a couple steps back, but as soon as you open the door, the circle is now open and you can breathe and your world starts to morph according to your evolution. So as you start to open this door, you start to evolve and things start to shift. So the key, and this is huge to just circle this on your note paper. The key to this is seeing these red things that you hate that you're pushing against and seeing them as blue and seeing there is something I am supposed to learn change fused with a different identity and allow myself to start being a completely better person. This door opens and you'll have unexpected miracles happen. You'll have more flow happen. You'll have positive things that you could have never even guessed positive things that your affirmations were never going to do things that were going to happen even without you even feeling grateful. Things are just going to allow the opening of your whole world. Now, quite a bit here before I go into the exercise. So number four into the comment box, if this is making sense, if it's not, please throw your questions in the comment box as well. But this right here, if you get this today and you rewatch this live every single day, you allow it to seep in your mind. I do that with these things. I constantly watch over and over and over. You will start to see the world from this standpoint, not from the one you've been. You're going to be looking through the eyes of source, not through the eyes of a physical human being. You're going to see the things around you, not as things to battle, but to allow the learning lessons to evolve the soul. And as you do so, that's the realm you've been looking for. I promise you when I started this process, I had things that you can't even guess on how they'd happen. It's been a long time since I received an unexpected check in the mail and that happened. That would be one example of something possible for you that could come in of many examples, of course. So allowing yourself to open the door is the key. Again, throw a like on this live. If that's also making sense, I saw a lot of force coming through, throw a like on the live. If this is valuable to you, you see the difference on modern manifestation of affirmations and everything and how most affirmations are doing this. I'm just doing the opposite, right? So if it's like, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. I feel good. I feel awesome. Right. Those feelings. Or it's like, I now have a hundred thousand dollars in my bank account. I now have a hundred thousand, right? What am I doing? I'm constantly combating the opposite that does work. We teach it, but it doesn't work to this deep causation. The causation is what needs to change. And when you do that, things are really going to move. Last thing, stick with me here. I know we're 20 minutes in. Okay. Going to put this in black. I want you to focus on one exercise right after this live. How does that sound? Simple, easy to the point. This is going to be really, really important here. Okay. And let me make sure this is on the board here. How we're going to do that. And let's just kind of do a little circle here. See attachments. and unattach. I have a whole lot of exercises for you. We're just going to do one simple exercise here. See your attachments. Anything you say, finally blank. Once I had the money in my bank account, once there was a lot of money in and no money out, then I'd finally feel good. Once I had that perfect thing in my life, 
dream house, dream home, dream relationship, dream thing, I would finally feel free. Once I made $10,000 a month, I'd finally feel successful. Once I finally had $20,000 in my checking account, I'd finally feel like I can make my own decisions. You see, these are our attachments. So I want you to go ahead and write down a list of 10 attachments, 10 of them. Anything where you would say, when I have this, finally, this thing would happen. You write down 10 of them, feelings, things, etc. And then the second part here, oh, my marker's running out here, is starting to unattach from these attachments. One thing that you can do right away to start unattaching is starting to, instead of feel according to the thing happening, feel according to the universe and what the universe thinks of that. So instead of saying, once I finally had 20 K in my checking account, I would feel successful and free. You change the phrase and you revise it to once I finally connect to the universe, I would finally feel free, relieved and successful. You see what I did there? You unattach the thing from happening. You attach it to the higher power. You call it universe, God, source, whatever you want to call the thing. You attach your state of being to the higher thing. Once I finally connect with that, then I'll have it. Your entire energetic field will shift and you'll be going to a soul plane rather than the mental plane. Finally, throw number five into the chat box if that exercise makes sense. And again, if you haven't already, throw a like on the live so we can get this out to more people as well. And we're just trying to provide this value to everybody that can see it. Okay. So throw a number five into the comment box if that makes sense. Unattach the things that you'd finally have, the feelings you'd finally have, or any of that, and start to allow yourself the new attachment to the higher power. And once you are attached to the higher power, you're realigning your entire core. You're realigning your entire being and aligned. Really super important. Let me know if you had any value from this live today. Maybe throw yes in the comment box. I see a lot of fives coming through. That works as well. I want to work with you on this. I want to be able to be there with you, helping you one-on-one -on -one with this or in our group style coaching. So before you jump off the live, if you're not in our program and you want more, maybe today was just fine for you and that's fantastic. I want you to study this. But for those of you that are on the live and there are some of you that you want more of this, you want this every week, you want to go deep, you want to go depth, you want to allow yourself to move to a higher plane rather than doing just you know self-study and trying to figure this stuff out you want to be able to get unstuck quickly progressing while feeling abundant and happy today enjoying all of this unfoldment i want to actually help you i want to be there with you guiding you every step of the way so if you're haven't already go to manifest let's do a different marker here i guess i need a new black marker okay manifest with Scott, hopefully you can see this, dot com slash call. Okay. And on this URL, you're going to book a call with us. I want to know where you're at. I want to know your recurring resistance. I saw some of your comments and in another live, I'm going to cover some of those comments on exact examples. I saw some of you mentioned some examples. Uh, we're going to end the live without, we're not going to be able to do examples, but another live I'm going to do purely on examples, 100%. Okay. What we're going to do is I want to know this theme. I need to know details. I need to understand where you're at. I need to literally understand exactly what are these recurring things coming in. Second, I want to know where you want to go. Like what's this for you? What's that door? Okay. And I want to know where you want to desire to go. There's going to be that bridge, that open door, and we're going to give you the roadmap to get there on the call. Okay. So manifestwithscott.com slash call, and we're going to talk about this process with you. And then we're going to talk about 
how you can get help from, from us for the next 12 months if you wish and desire that as well. So we're gonna be able to help you with this for 12 months, an entire year, all of 2023, to allow yourself to move through that door and stay through that door. But you need the guidance. I still have teachers. I have a relationship mentor. I have an energetics mentor. I have all these different mentors in my life because I need this door to remain open. It's hard to do it yourself. I can't always see it myself. So I gotta have somebody else on the outside show me where this stuff is playing out and where I'm trying to go, but what's in between there. It's really hard. So book a call with our team, book a call with myself on, on our actual schedule there. Talk about where you are. I need to know all the details, where you wanna go, how we're gonna bridge that gap is what we're gonna talk about on the call, plus our actual mentorship and program that will help you do all of this for the next 12 months, okay? And anybody that's watching this live that is our students, I'm sure you would attest the idea that going through this every single week is very, very enlightening and aligning. You need to keep your awareness up. And this spot right here will keep your awareness to a very high groove continuously and constantly as well, all right? So again, manifestwithscott.com slash call. There's gonna be a couple questions on there. I want you to answer those questions thoroughly. So again, before the call, we're already gonna know about you and then we're gonna draw out that roadmap before we even get on the call. We're gonna understand it, we're gonna be there with you, okay, which is gonna be quite amazing. So energy loops, that's a lesson today. Energy loops, allowing yourself to see the recurring resistance, stop battling against it, the resistances, the uncomforts, the triggers, the things going on in your life, understand why it's there, understand what's going on internally, not pushing against it, but rather starting to open up your door to your soul's evolution. Doing this exercise every single day, seeing your attachments, writing down 10, starting your unattachment process of that thing, connecting to the higher power, whatever you call that thing, and allow your energy field to be more stable as you move forward, okay? And that's gonna be a game changer. Your stability, your frequency isn't gonna be a roller coaster your frequency is actually going to stay in the higher vibration. While you do that, make sure you get long-term support from us. Manifestoscott.com slash call. Support is everything. We got an amazing soul tribe that would blow you away. A lot of people become best friends, accountability buddies. We have accountability systems. We got guides. We got everything you need to make sure you are staying with that door open and going through it, okay? We're gonna be doing these lives a lot more often. And I want you to provide your thorough feedback in the comments section as well. What do you need help with? What questions do you have? What themes are going on in your life? Leave a comment so that the next live, I can actually start mapping out how I can be able to help you after you jump on your call. All right, really good. This, this will be available. I know somebody just asked this live. is already being recorded on YouTube. So give it about five minutes of processing and it should be right there right on YouTube live. You can rewatch this over and over and over, okay? Sending so much light and blessings to all of you. Thank you for being here. You took 30 minutes of your time today invested in you, and that means everything. Thank you for being you, and thank you for doing great work today. Keep moving forward on your dreams. Keep progressing. Keep elevating your consciousness, and allow yourself to be rewarded and saying, I'm doing great today. Even if things aren't working out exactly the way you want to results-wise, you say, I'm spending the time on me, and there's not many people in this world that do it. So thank you for doing that. You're evolving the consciousness of the world, whether you know that or not, which is amazing. All right, sending peace and blessings to you. We'll talk real soon and take care.